What's up guys? How are you doing today? And it's Angry Roll Player and I would like uh, to talk about Tons Gear today. This is the second part of the big Tons Guide. And let's talk about Tons Gear in general and I would specifically like to talk about the gear that rolls with the Tons natively. And we'll start with the weapons. And not many people know that it's actually three weapons in the game that roll with thorns and there's two maces the first is neanderthal it's a legendary mace and it rolls with thorns all the time it's the native roll and the second is the nail biter so we have the two maces that roll with thorns and actually these are really good uh, you know starting game and uh, weapons because because when you have nothing and it's a common, these maces are common drop. When you have nothing, you're just starting playing the season and you're getting a Crusader or a Barb or something like that. It's a nice drop and it's decent weapons because they add actually a huge amount of tons uh, to the pool. They can roll up to uh, 9 and 5k tons where be, if they're ancient, so they add a lot of tons to the pool set. They're decent weapons when you start a, start a game. And I actually played with an ancient nail bite in season 7 for quite some amount of time before I found my peak sticker. So these are decent weapons. And not many people know that it's actually a two handed sword that rolls with tons, guys. And it's the faithful memory, two-hander with torrents. It's the only sword in the game that rolls with torrents, which is pretty crazy. And a lot of people many even remember that weapon because you know, it automatically becomes salvaged <laughs> to the Forgotten Souls and not many people remember that. It actually rolls with torrents as well. And it's like the worst uh, we torrents uh, weapon in the game. It's a two-hander, it's slow. And it has, uh, but it has tons. So at the very beginning of the game, that's the only, you know, chance for it to be useful somewhat. So this is faithful memory, legend, two-handed sword. Now let's get uh, back and let's see what uh, armor pieces and what uh, uh, armor pieces we have with tons, guys. So first of all. It's the Votoyo Spiker Shield, guys. It's an exclusively uh, Tron's Shield that works with the Tron skill and it always rolls with the Tron's damage. This one I have is pretty cool, pretty nice. Shields. It's a very unique shield that affects uh, the reflected damage. It basically doubles your reflected damage. I will do a separate small video about this shield. Uh, later on, but this shield is always rolled with thorns. And another another interesting piece of gear that always rolls with thorns is the Heart of Iron. Uh, this armor was uh, always like a piece of fucking crap uh, for a lot of time, for almost uh, four years. It's been a junk, but then it, but then Blizzard reworked it into something useful, and actually, it's quite it's quite useful armor now. For the Legacy of Nightmares Bombardment mean it's very, very useful. Uh, you gain Torrents equal to up to 300 uh, of your vitality. And you can get around a 6k Torrents from this Heart of Iron armor. And it uh, and the secondary always rolls with Torrents and that's why it's so useful. And uh, you can roll Bombardment uh, on your primary as well and it's always good to use with the Legacy of Nightmares Bombardment set and it's exceptionally rare to find uh, to find uh, to find to find uh, the Achilles Curus with Thorns uh, like this ancient I personally still haven't found an ancient Achilles Curus with Thorns so they like a rob Bombardment uh, but uh, so but Heart of Iron is a very common drop very common drop and like for example you get 10 ancient heart of hearts of iron and you get one maybe ancient uh, killers curious that's that's the the difference is huge so it's much easier to gear uh, for legacy or not was but with it when you wear the heart of iron so it's so much easier to gear a good role here so natively rolls with thrones guys 
And another gear that the road was Trons natively now. It's the Trons of the Invoker set, guys. And the funny thing about this Invoker set is that uh, back in the days when the set was introduced, uh, first of all, it dropped for all classes, not just for Crusader. It was not exclusive to Crusader, they changed it earlier. But uh, when it first appears, it uh, dropped for every class, so you can drop it for the Witch Doctor or Demon Hunter or anything else. And it also could uh, draw a roll without tons damage. So it was an absolutely you know, shitty set. One of the shittiest in the game existing. But uh, well, the, well, the time has come and uh, time has come and uh, they reworked the set into something useful. And now uh, it always is an exclusively Crusader drop. It only drops for the Crusader first. And the second is that always rolls with Trons damage. Always rolls with all damage. Every piece of the Invoker always rolls with Tron damage. And this is why this set is so useful. It's extremely easy to get. All the, this set is a common drop. And Invoker is very affordable. It's extremely good starting set. I would say this is the easiest set to start playing as a Crusader. So it's absolutely easiest to gear for guys. That's why it's a kind of, you know, it's kind of a very popular among Crusaders cause it's just easy to get this set guys. And another piece of gear that exclusively rolls with Trons is the Sanguinary Verm Bracers. These are the Bracers, the Trons Bracers. These are very, very unique, interesting Bracers and they are Act 1 exclusive Rift, uh, you know, Bounty Drop from Act 1 for other caches. These are very, very interesting Bracers and um, they always exclusively roll with the secondary trons guys and they work like this chance of being hit to deal a thousand of your trons damage to nearby enemies. Uh, what it means that when the monsters hit you like I um, explained you in the first uh, video you automatically reflect your trons damage all uh, the pool of your trons damage and basically with these braces you have a chance to deal a thousand of your tons damage. This is a very unique, very strange and one of the most mysterious tons item in the game. No, no one really knows how good is this. It, this item absolutely works and I plan to do a really deep testing of these uh, braces in one of my next videos. So there will be a separate video for these braces with the in-depth testing calculations and I will find out all the fucking truth about these braces and what and if they are op or not, you know. <laughs> so, uh, another interesting, interesting item that I wanted to talk about, guys. Interesting item that absolutely everyone forgot about. Absolutely forgot about this shit. Uh, it's the Demon Hide set. You know, there is a, a crafted set existing in the game that can roll with tons of damage, guys. That rolls with tons of damage. I'm pretty sure you guys already forgot that such a shit existed in the game. Basically, the Demon Hide uh, set was used about two years ago uh, where the pieces of workers and the Demon's Hide. And uh, the Tron's gear and then the Tron's weapons. And it was, what, it was the only time when the set was actually useful somewhat in the game. What the set does is it adds 5 Tron's damage. And it adds 6,000 uh, uh, 6, Tron's damage to the pool. And it's very strange because it it's counts as a Tron's damage. But it's also listed as a fire damage, so it doesn't really scale with physical damage. So it's completely junk, and it's chance to deal 25% uh, dam area damage on hit. It's also fucking junk because uh, the proc coefficient is uh, absolutely lower than the Invoker 2 piece absolute cause Invoker hits. Every time you're attacking a 15 yard radius with the area damage, with the area damage. And uh, these hits, uh, Invoker hits with the Trons damage in 15 yard radius. 
but turns that turn turns damage will be absolutely always more than the area damage that you, that you do because you know every damage uh, first of all you know I think I think that that said it doesn't even scale with the trons I think it scales with the weapon damage it's extremely old set extremely outdated and it's completely useless now so just for the reference the set exists in the game but don't use it as a fucking piece of junk and the last thing that I wanted to say is that uh, the, about the important slots in your equipment that sh you should prioritize your trons roll on well guys uh, the basic trons roll uh, the basic non ancient roll on the shoulders chest belt uh, the amulet and the weapons and the weapons is six and uh, is seven and six k tones guys you see uh seven and almost seven seven and seven k let's say seven and seven k tones i can roll this non-ancient tones on the belt on uh the shoulders the chest the amulet can also roll with tones i have some uh, ancient uh out here I have uh, some hellfire here with the trans damage as well and the weapon if you play with Neanderthal and the nail biter they can also roll up the 77k so and the ancient trans roll can get up to uh, up to 9 and 5k 9 and 5k tons guys on uh, their shoulders chest belt weapons and the amulet and also is the shield if you if we manage to find the shield guys the shield like the little war and also the Votoya spiker they also can roll up to nine uh, nine and five k ancient and seven and seven k non ancient that's that's the biggest choice rolls that you absolutely uh, must get first priority out of all tones rolls on your gear and the other pieces of gear like the rings the boots the pants uh the gloves the bracers and the helm they can only roll with up to uh two and around two and nine k tons rolls two and nine k and the ancient can roll up to three and five k tons rolls so this is like a second this is like uh, twice less, almost th three times less than these rolls. These rolls. So this is like less important. And as you could notice that some uh, Legacy of Nightmares Crusaders that run, for example, on the, the uh, run on the the gloves without the trons or the pants without the trons, because 3K trons is not that crazy you know crazy super important when you have already a huge pool of turns a huge pool of turns so if you have for example a really good role like the strength beat and all in huge all res and and you don't have turns uh on the pants it's not that super fucking important it's always good to have more turns and it's also always essential to have turns on every piece of gear possible but for example tons is extremely hard uh, to get on your rings on your rings it's very hard to get <laughs> you know it's very it's the range must be crazy for you to get your tons uh, on your rings and also the amulet with tons is exceptionally rare for example the hellfire with tons is like super fucking rare and uh, especially for the legacy of nightmares bombardment build the hellfire with drones is like GG uh, best in slot absolutely imp <laughs> very hard very hard to find so the rings uh, the, the rings and the amulets are like you know uh, the minors priority for you to get drones because they are so very rare very rare most likely because uh, other pieces of gear they have two secondary stats and most of the rings they have one stat there and it's exceptionally it's exceptionally hard to get to get uh, trons here 
Shield is also exceptionally hard to get uh, with the tones rolls. The, I mean the shields that do not roll with tones, like for example there, there's only Votoya Spiker that rolls with tones that naturally rolls with tones. But for example, the Lidless Wall with tones is very rare, is very rare and um, and the shields like Eckert's Awakening, they're also exceptionally rare to get with Trons. I never found a single Eckert's Awakening that rolled with Trons in my lifetime, so I had to roll it manually here, guys. So, let's summarize, let's summarize. You need to prioritize your Trons rolls on your shoulders, chest, belt, shield and the weapon if you have it. Uh, and the secondary priority is the helm, the gloves, the pants, the boots, the rings, the braces. Shield is also second priority and the, the amulet is very hard to get with tones. Very hard to get with tones, guys. So this is it. I have been talking about the naturally raw tones gear and some other tones gear that kind of, you know, important in the game. So... I'll see you soon in the next video guys, very soon, thanks for watching and stay tuned for, for more.